So I'm riding You put your toy to let you me Good or bad or good legends Best or wishes or memories Hello everyone, it's Rider here and welcome to another video and um I've popped out for a couple of hours, had some time off work, so I've decided just to, well, pop into Warsaw for a couple of hours. I needed to get to the bank, actually, um, first time since lockdown kicked in to put a little bit of birthday money in there, but unfortunately he was mahoosive. Um, but I did have a look round and I was actually surprised about what I saw in Warsaw, let's face it, Warsaw's a bit of a... Bit of a dump, to be honest with you. It's not a nice place to walk around. Um, but there was some pretty cool stuff in there. I stopped off at a Smith's. I stopped off at a B&M on the way back. Um, because I needed some light bulbs. I'm sure you'll see this in the video in a minute. Um, but yeah, I took some footage while I was in there. May as well. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd share it with you and talk over what I saw. So let's start off with the Netflix Siege figures. They had a chrome earring. They also had a hound. Who, I quite like the green on that. Um, they had um, Mirage and they had Sideswipe who looks pretty cool sorry about the shaky camera uh, I had stuff in my hand they also had a load of Cyberverse they had Hotlink here uh, which again I'm tempted by but I didn't pick up uh, they had oh, a bit of a shaky cam sorry about this they had some more Siege and some Earthrise uh, they had I believe cliff jumper. Here we go, and they also had a load of bot bots that I really don't care about anymore. Uh, they also had fifteen pound uh, clearance movie bot. Um, they had. I was reaching up some of these cyberverse figures reduced to fifteen pound each, which were quite cool. Um, not for me though. Um, and yeah, you can see they had quite a quite a lot in stock. Amazing is this to see Marvel Legends on the shelves in a major UK retailer. Amazing. This is the Abomination Wave. They only had the three figures. Uh, they had the Iron Man and they had the Miss Marvel as well as the is it Nova. I, I can't remember the other guy's name. They uh, also had this uh, this big diecast Optimus Prime for 25 quid. They had loads of the DC multiverse figures, uh, 20 quid a pop. Um, they had the Alien Queen, which is really cool. The head, um, put you push down the head and the and the fangs come out. I think that's really cool. Feels quite nice. Not a lot of articulation on it though. And they had some of the other Alien figures in stock. Cool to see those on the shelves. I also popped into B and M and they had some Star Wars pop vinyls, as well. And I couldn't believe to see these uh, on the shelves. Some DC multiverse figures. So they had a uh, Batgirl here, which is absolutely stunning. Um, amazing to see it on the shelf. Uh, you can also see some Ever Ready bulbs, which I'll be doing a review of at some point. <laughs> An alien figure of Hudson, I think they're about eight quid each. Um, I then had a look round to try and find some more um, multiverse figures, and I did. I found Arrow um, on the floor, I found Superman, who I've already got. And I just kept looking around, looking for more of these figures, because I really wanted the Batman Who Laughs um, figure. They've also got like the, the Batmobile, the giant Batmobile, and then I found Batman just sitting there, and I was really, really tempted by this. Um, £15 each, these are, in B&M, which is pretty, pretty stunning. I was well shocked to see them in there. They also had a Baby Yoda, um, and a load of Ghostbusters Egons. Absolutely loads of them. They must have about 30 of them on the shelves. Um, <laughs> it was really odd to see because I've seen reports of Ray Stans um, being in B&M, but, but not Egon. Really, really random to see that. So there you go. There was my little outing around Warsaw. Um, and I did pick up a few things. Uh, first item I picked up. Of course, I got myself some Ever Ready light bulbs, some E14s, um, which I've now dropped and probably broke. Um, 40 watt, um, I've gone for the um, LED option uh, at 40 watts rather than the standard option at 60 or 100 because it's just going to be bright. Some bloody bulbs. Being a grown up eye, I don't know. Um, but actually, joking aside, uh, I did pick up a few things. One item I actually pre ordered um, from Smith's um, uh, this morning. Um, and the reason why I did it, I only had one in stock, non online for um home delivery or we just had it delivered to be honest with you 
Um, and what I am noticing with Smiths, and, and you saw it earlier in that video, is they've got the entire, virtually the entire wave of Siege Netflix Deluxe is in there. In fact, the entire wave. The only one I didn't see was Scrapface. Um, but half of them aren't showing on, in stock online. So, the, And then when you go and have a look for something online in Smiths that's showing... Uh, in stock in the store, you get to the store and you can't find it. So I thought, you know what, there's one left, I'm not going to risk it, I'm going to pick it up. And the reason why I picked this up is that uh, on Sunday, so yesterday, on Saturday, I gave this a little bit of an office, a bit of a tidy, gave the collection a little bit of a purge. Um, and I was focusing on uh, a display that I've got behind me, right here, you can't see it, but I haven't got many movie boxes out, but one thing I do love is the first film. I love the first movie. Um, Bumblebee's amazing, and that's 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 my favourite by far. But the two thousand and seven movie is the best, and I think the Decepticon lineup in that film was absolutely bloody awesome. So I've kind of decided that I wanted to have a display of it, um, and I have got all of the original toys, but I've had a look at it, and Mister Scale, Dave Shotton, planted this in my head. Um, that some of them don't scale with each other and also all of the movie one megatrons are absolutely shite so i was looking at amazon and amazon uh had the masterpiece megatron for 66 pound and i was really tempted to pick that up really really tempted i had it in my basket online ready to buy and then after i looked at it i watched a few reviews it's got some rubbery parts and it's got a lot of coppery gold color on it which isn't movie accurate but then I saw this one, and I had a chat to Dave Shot, and it was half the price, and I decided to dive in, uh, thanks to Dave's advice. So I've picked up movie, to, movie one, 2007 Transformers movie, Megatron. Um, I think we can agree that that film is the only live-action Transformers film where Megatron was a badass. In every other film, he's been controlled. He hasn't been the ultimate leader. Where in this film, he was amazing, even though he's only in it for the last half an hour or something like that, really. The paintwork in this is shiny and beautiful. Uh, and I think it'll fit quite well in with the scale. Um, I have listened to Dave Shotton as well about scale. And not only am I replacing the Megatron, I'm replacing another two figures on that shelf because they don't scale. Um, and I've actually ordered them this morning um so they might come out this week but i'll, I'll leave you guessing uh, which ones i've replaced at the moment i've got blackout i've got megatron which i'm replacing i've got bone crusher i've got brawl i've got star scream and i've got barricade all from the first 2007 movie toys so in the comments below guess who i'm replacing i've replaced another two of those so let me know but yeah movie megatron absolutely stunning um but in in Smith, I had that Iron Man in my hand, and I had that Optimus Prime in my hand, and I resisted temptation, um, and I went to B&M, obviously, where I picked up the bloody light bulbs, but I did pick up something else from B&M. I almost bought that Batman, but the reason why I didn't is there is an Arkham Asylum Batman out, which I'll relate to a little bit more, um, but I did pick up for eight English pounds an Econ Spengler. Um, one thing I will say about these is that they are definitely seconds because I went through them all to try and find a decent one. Um, the first one I picked up had like um, a stripe on the tie um, and everyone else had really, really bad glasses, really like overpainted. This one, I believe the issue with it is the bent um, wand, which I can sort out with some hot water. But for eight quid, like Egon is my favourite Ghostbuster, and I know there's that new wave of figures coming out. But this is from the one of my favourite scenes in Ghostbusters Two, the courtroom, and I thought for eight quid it'll be a bit of fun. Um, he's nothing really, so yeah, I picked up him. And then finally, I have got back, and I had a parcel waiting for me, and I mentioned this the other day from the lovely people at Comics and Cocktails. And I'm excited about this because this is my second figure from this line. I'm not going to go all in with it. And I think, to be honest with you, if I was going all in, I would have bought a loaf from being in today. But I'm not doing that. Nice bit of bubble wrap. Oh, this looks cool already. It is. It is the uh, DC Multiverse 
Arkham Asylum Joker. A uh, couple of reasons I got this. Number one, Mark Hamill uh, did the voice of him and he is an amazing actor. And I've got a lot of Luke Skywalker and Mark Hamill figures, um, bought a lot this year. Maybe 2020 is the year of um, year of Mark Hamill, as 2019 was a year of Mask. Um, but I really love this game as well, especially the first two. The first two took hours and hours of my life. Um, and I really want to pick up the Batman as well, but I've heard mixed things about his, his eye paint. So I really want to see one in person before picking one up. Um, but yeah, I picked up him from Comics and Cocktails. These retail at, at £20 usually in Smith's. But Comics and Cocktails were doing them for, for $19.99, including postage. So I know these are due in Smith's, I think, late July, I think, beginning of late July. Um, these, these, this, even, get me words out, Rich. These particular figures um, are not, I don't believe they are anyway, in um, B&M. But I am tempted to go and pick up another couple. The ones that really stick out, as I say... It's the Arkham Asylum Batman I'm definitely going to pick out, pick up. The Batman Who Laughs. Um, and then the two big, there's a big like juggernaut Batman and a big like spacesuit Superman, which just look awesome. And I've got no idea about the source material. Um, but I picked up him. And uh, that was it. So not too bad. Not a bad little haul um, for a bit of an impromptu pop out. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've been Zork Rider, and until next time, I'll catch you again soon.